It's a two mile five furlong bow ranger hunter's chase now the second of the hunter's chases here and it's a conatum half james shea trojan hysteria alex cherry romana the favorite for martin leadham mainstream wedding thomas rogers Mizwaki asset and batania who's for ryan costello and they're off and running so a smaller field than in the previous race and very different weather as the black clouds have quickly come over and it's pouring down and maybe that's distracting a couple of these horses as you can see trojan hysteria and romana uh, made him an absolute hash of that first fence and both went down on their nose on landing uh, and they're going to have to really improve their jumping if they want to be involved at the finish here as they come to the next let's see how they jump here Oof, really poor jump from Batanier who's at the front who just didn't take off the horse decided that it was going to just plow straight through it and it's one way to get to the other side but it's definitely not the most effective way not if you want to have a, a fighting chance once uh, push comes to shove at the end of the race and as we go past the 18 furlong point left in this race and come to the next fence you can see there that Romana has now started to really move forward uh, after making that mistake and is obviously just settled now and is traveling much much more strongly as they come to that next and all of them perhaps just coming to terms with what lies ahead of them now as they're all starting to put a few better jumps in here and Martin Leadham is looking for a quick follow-up double here in the Hunters uh, events in week three trying to follow up Admiral Ascoli's win in the uh, purple and white striped silks as other silks in the previous race can Romana follow up and provide favor backers with a winner here a Conatum half travelling alongside that one in second, but the pair of them are a good four lengths behind Batania, who's, uh, who's racing in the green and white for Ryan Costello, and his other runner, Mizwaki Asset, is towards the rear of the field and running alongside Mainstream Wedding. And the only other one uh, in the lineup at the moment, Trojan Hysteria, that is racing off the pace alongside Romana in a Conatum half, and you can see just moving up alongside those two, going the shortest way around today, hugging that rail as they swing left handed. There's still a good 13 furlongs left to go and over half of the obstacles still left to navigate as they all go over the next. Econitum half was the smoothest jumper there and just jumped in between Romana and Trojan Hysteria and came out the other side and put just put his nose ahead in the second there. But as they come over the next, the three there in uh, behind the leader all were quite high over that one and didn't go over it particularly quickly and that allowed Mizwaki Asset to just move up alongside those as they come past what will be the winning post in a circuit's time. Mainstream Wedding just being held up at the very rear of the field and happy to just let these horses in front of them set the pace and pounce later on I'm sure that's the plan for that jockey today. The rain continuing to fall here and it's Batania Hoos, so it's still a good falling. Oh, it's gone, I'm not quite sure what happened there. The horse just almost refused to jump and just crashed through the fence and the jockey was almost on the floor before the horse had got to the other side. So Batania Hoos did put a mistake earlier in the race. The horse just did not want to jump that fence and Ryan Costello's gonna have to rely on Ms. Wacky Asset if he's gonna land a winner here in this race and that one wasn't particularly quick at the rear of the field and was just pushed along for a few strides but the horse has at least responded to that and is holding on to the back of this pack that is now led by Romana since losing that front runner Batania Hoos it's Romana that is in the lead couldn't see a thing there as the camera was covered by the trees but you can see as they went over that next fence the jump in slightly improved by all horses there and it's Romana in the lead from a Conadum half they're still traveling really strongly mainstream wedding has moved forward and is now into third with Trojan Hysteria and Mizwaki Asa the back two uh, as we come to the next fence and once they get over the other side there'll be five furlongs left to go Mizwaki Asset made a bad mistake there and Ryan Costello's runners just haven't brought their A game when it comes to the jumping here today and that's jumping is the name of the game unfortunately so you can see those dark clouds up above as we're getting a really close up view of them going over the next flight and they all attack that Romana and Mainstream Wedding going head to head up front Mizwaki Asset still travelling in strongly despite those earlier errors Econitum Half and Trojan Hysteria you, could, you wouldn't like to bet on 
on who's winning this one at the moment. All of them are in with a chance, but Roman is the one that's going to set off for home first as we come towards the two and a half furlong mark. And now it's Roman in the lead. Mainstream wedding now getting hard at work on the outside, and the response is looking pretty good. Trojan Hysteria and Econodem half are trying to go with them, and Mizwaki Asset is going to have to stay on past all of these riders here if it's going to win this. It looked like Mainstream Wedding took off at that one a bit early, but it seemed to get away fine at the other side. Econodem half, Mizwaki Asset has stayed on past two and has moved into third place and Romana is now the back marker as they come over the next bad mistake from the horse in second and third and that's allowed Mainstream Wedding to just safely jump over that fence and power away and it really put the race to bed at that last fence it jumped the last fence much the better and given the mistake put in by Mizwaki Asset and the Comet and half nothing else really had a chance to get involved so what looked like it was going to be a bunched finish as they swung off the last bend into home it turned into a pretty comfortable win for Mainstream Wedding who raced for a long time out the back supremely confident ride on that 3-1 to one. Uh, joint second favourite there for Thomas Rogers and that one's won this Bull Rangers Hunters from Mizwaki Asset in second Trojan Hysteria third a Comet in half fourth and Romana for Martin Leedon was fifth